Hello, good day, and welcome back. A quick reminder, I'm still traveling, still on vacation, so you're going to hear noises in the background, birds, who knows, cars, whatever. All right. But so this is where we left off. We're talking about iterating your map using for and range. And so now we're going to wrap up our this chapter on map in this section by doing a review. So back in chapter four, where we covered slices, we ended that chapter by creating a simple program to display a bar chart, either ver vertical bar chart or horizontal bar chart. And so in this video, I thought, well, now you know a little bit more about maps and iteration because you've done them now for arrays and slices. And if you go back and look at the code for uh, the array um, for the slice where we did the bar chart, you can see it how you can actually improve how that's done. And actually, if you look at the code base from GitHub, I actually done that. All right. Now, in this chapter, we're going to go back and revisit um, one of those example program. And so, and it's pretty simple. We're going to display a number vi visually with a chart. And the chart we're going to try attempt to display looks something like this, like a histogram like this, right? And so, um, these are numbers. Um, I put in um, something. Um, I actually copied this from, uh, chart from the internet and I massaged the numbers a little bit. Uh, but um, so credit to whoever created the chart, but I just stick some number down uh, the vertical axis there. And so if we kind of look at it, it looks like um, what we have is two um, on the bottom um, goes up, whatever that represents, goes up to about three three goes up to about six and I'm just um, eyeballing this so um, don't get taken up if I'm a little bit off I mean you can use any number you want four looks like nine five I'm gonna say is 13 six I'm gonna say is at 15 seven at 18 eight at 16 nine at 14 um, 10 at 10 11 is at six and 12 is at two um, 12 is really more like 2.5, but I'm going to just use integers instead of like floats for this um, histogram. And so when I'm displaying my chart, chart, and so I'm just going to make it a whole number. Um, if you remember from chapter four, we use stars. So um, hence why it would make sense to be able to have all numbers and not um, fractional numbers, right? Um, floating point numbers. And so let's um, go in and take a look at the code. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to minimize it for now. So what I did was I simply copied the last section in chapter four, which was um, section eight to our new section here, because I just want to start with that code. And I'm going to cd into that directory and I have my um, editor up and running. Okay. And so let's look at the application here. And so I'm, again, I'm starting off with that previous code. So now I'm going to change things a little bit. So let's change this to, I don't know what we want to call it, um, maps review histogram. So, all right. And so what we said, this is our data, and we're going to use a map, right? A map of int to int. So let's say map of int to int. And so what do we have? We have two colon three, three colon six, four colon nine, five colon thirteen, six colon fifteen, seven colon eighteen, and let's go to another thing, eight colon sixteen, nine colon fourteen, ten colon ten, and twelve colon two. So the keys here are ints that are keys that's going to be our x-axis and the value at that key is going to be our y-axis so it looks like we just call horizontal histogram we're not going to do the horizontal histogram but in this example but you can certainly do that as an exercise and there's the histogram with data and we don't need to pass in uh, oh this is our scale factor if i remember correctly how much we want to scale our chart. So uh, if we go down and we are going to, I'm going to leave the code for the horizontal histogram here. Um, but then um, this is the one. So scaling factor, SF, that's what I call it. And so 
um, let's see, so D was the length of our um, thing, so now we're doing a map, so we say map of int to int, and so that's our data. Um, we can do um, length of D, because we know that our length works on um, maps also, and if there's nothing to do, we return, and so let's see if this still works. So ma ma uh, max is D of zero, um, so we know that though if we try to do d of 0 like this, if we try to pull out something at this key, it's going to give us the default value. So we're going to get 0 as our max, which, considering we're trying to find a max, might work, but we know though this is error prone because we may not have something at a key 0, and actually we may have something at a lower key like minus 1. So we can't use this type of iteration. So rather, we can say max is equals to 0. And we're going to say for, um, let's do this. Um, and so we want to iterate over our key and value. So that's KAV. Um, range over. So now you know how to, do, how to do range. You know, you're not going to do for loops like this. So range over D. And then we say if max is less than the key, then, you know, we actually don't need the value. Oh yeah, you know, we want if max is less than um, the value, um, and so we can put an underscore here because we don't really need the index, um, and we don't care what that is. We just assign in, just it written over the value and assigning it. So that allows us to find our max now. Okay, what is the next thing? For i is equals to max divided by scaling factor i is greater than minus 1, um, i plus plus, so, um, so that's our scale, and so we have the maximum value, and we're going to scale it, and so that part is fine, um, and so printf, you know, we have space there, and then we're going to loop over, and we're going to say, for this length of j, we're going to do for i is less than equal, uh, if i is less than or equals to, which is our current scale value, is less than the current value of in the map, in our array, at that time we use an array divided by the scaling factor, then we want to put a star, or else not. So this is just going to be the value, right? Because remember, if this was an array or slice, d of j is just the value at that location. So we can make this v. And of course, what we're iterating over here is our map. So this is simply um, value gets um, range of D. Okay. And, and it looks like if we have changed this over to using a map. And so the only way we can know if this actually works and scaling of five, um, it's just too much. We, we can't scale by 5, so we're going to say, let's use a scaling factor of 1. So it's basically 1 to 1, okay? And so let's run this and see. So uh, here we go. And so we're going to say, go run main. Go. And, huh, okay. Uh, <laughs> it's a little messed up. So where are we uh, messing up? So let's say, uh, okay, Instagram, our first value and it should be uh let's see me look at my notes here again uh, so it should be our first value should be uh two get maps to three okay and we certainly do not have that okay so let's go back and look at the code so two gets mapped to three. Oh, remember ah Remember what happens with the order in which you take things out of um, a map, right? Remember that? So when you do the iteration, you're pulling things out at any order. And so in our previous example, in previous section, we look at how you sort the keys. And so you pull those out in a certain order. And so we look like if we need to also do that. So while we're iterating over here to find the max we also have the range so here's k and what we can do is have our keys 
be inside of a slice, right? We can do um, have a slice of int. And regardless of whatever the max value is, what we always want to do is say keys is equals to append to our keys whatever um, the current key value is. So we build up um, all our keys in here. And then once we're finished that, it seems like what we want to do is sort it. So we do sort that um, ints and we pass in keys. Remember, we took a look at the sort. Um, so I don't know why I didn't import it. Uh, import sort. Right? And so. Oh, okay. Uh, so this is a, a null thing. So I, don't, I um, actually um, just want to say var um, thing. Okay. Um, so it's, it's, uh, there's an empty slice. And then um, I'm not assigning a value there just now. Um, so anyway, I mean, I could have still said this. If I want to do that, do something like this, um, that would have worked too. So it's a slice that doesn't have any elements in it. So, so that works fine too. Um, so... Uh, here we go. And so um, I loop over and I get my sorted keys. And then now, um, all right, so let's see, do we get some help on this? You pass the keys in and it's sorted. And then now when I do a range here, um, what I can do is I can do for I get range of my sorted keys range over the sorted keys and then the value is really my data of i right that makes sense and then now if we imagine the first time we come in um, we have for i equals to max whatever the max is in this example the max is going to be 18 so 18 divided by a scalar factor of 1 Right, so I get 18, and so I is greater than minus one is true. So I subtract, subtract, you keep decrementing from I, and if you keep coming down, you're gonna put a um, space and you're gonna say for I in the keys range, so you keep going across. And so if start by padding the space and then for i in the keys so let's say when we have our keys that started now so we should pick out two is the lowest one first and so we'll get two and we say if i is less than equal which is 18 the first time is 18 less than equals to our data of two because that's going to be i is divided by the scaling factor which is once it has no effect so we can essentially always ignore this so it's 18 less than 2 and the answer is no 18 is not less than 2 so we do not do the star but instead we do a space and we can imagine let's just focus on that first column alone and then of course we're going to um, eventually do all the keys and eventually we're going to get to the key which is key 7 Right? We're going to eventually iterate our keys and get to 7 and find that 7 gets the value of 18 divided by 1 is 18. I'm saying so let's ignore this because it's, it's divided by 1. We ignore it. And so now 18 is less than or equal to 18. So we put a star. And that is fine because we do want at column 7 to have a star there to represent that it goes up to 18. Okay? And then we come around and we do key 8 and that is 16 and so that is not less than 18 so we do a space and now we look around okay and so eventually once we finish um, for that row at row 18 and look at all the columns that come up to that height that's what we're really doing we go to one line below because we're coming along the page so that's going to be line 17, for example. Hence why we decrement by 1 here. So now our i is 17. 
and we repeat the process and see which column has a value that is less than or equals to 17, which is the current line number, and we print that. So let's see now if this fixes our problem. So let's run this again, and bam, here we go. And this look, this is not what we should be getting. So there's obviously a bug in the code. What we're getting every column is printing a value, okay? And so, um, so what is going on here? So if we, if we look again, and um, so let's see, how many columns do we have here? So we have one, and then there seems to be a space, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, so if our stuff started from 10 to 12, so this seems to be correct. So it's just two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, actually, there are two in here that showed up as blank. So we have to figure out where is this bug and what is going on, right? Um, this is definitely not what our example should be looking like. Um, I, don't, I didn't draw it back here, so this is just an example. So, but our data set doesn't look like this. This is our data set, map of in 2 to 3, 3 to 6. That does not look anything like what we're getting, right? So let's see where the bug is. So if 0 is equal to the length of that return, well, we know that's working, it's nothing. Map is equal to, um, we know we're using positive integers, so um, our, our histogram start from 0 is the lowest number. So this is okay to start max here. And so we have a key, and so we iterate over our loop, and key is the index, and v is the value, a range over d, and so we say key is equal to append these keys. Okay, so we have that, and then we say if max is less than than the value, then max is equal to the value. At this point, what we have, and we should do some debugging, fmt that print len, and we should say that oh, this is our keys. Right, and this is it, Key, keys, and values, uh, max, sorry. So this is max, and there we go, max, okay? Now, after we have sorted, our keys should look sorted, and it should be different, okay? So that's our first thing. To make sure that that is working. So you write a program and it doesn't work like you expect. Um, so what is the problem? Undefined FMT print lin. Okay. All right. And it doesn't work like you expect. You go ahead and you stick some debug or lock statement in there, depending on um, you know how you're feeling and if they're going to stay in and how you're going to get them out. But we'll talk about that another time. And so I run this and then I scroll back up and I look and I see, okay. Here's my key before it was sorted. Max is 18, which is correct. And A is my key after it started. So I know that this part at least works correctly. Up to this part, everything is correct. All right, so I can take that out. Now, what about this part? So if my max is 18 and I start I at 18, and I'm gonna be coming down the page. Um, so one of the things I can imagine is that what I'm doing is printing the value of i, comma, um, you know, and I don't know, let's do two spaces, but I'm essentially doing that. I'm going to take out one space. So that's what I'm essentially doing. Um, and if I run this again, I should see from 18 coming down, right? Now don't ignore this for, for a second. We can fix that very easily in the language. Um, with a printout, and we can do that later. Um, so I'm coming down to zero, okay? Um, and so everything has a value at zero in our example, um, because zero is the base. So this looks fine. I'm starting at 18, and I'm coming down. So, um, okay, um, that looks good. All right, so where's the, the problem then? Well, let's keep going. So for i in the range of the keys, ah, see, i is the index of my keys and not the, the value, right? So what I really want is the, I want to really want is keys, 
that's my problem keys of i that's what i really want so i want to get the value of my keys right so here essentially is where i want to do you got to think of it as i want to do underscore that um key because it's not the index in the uh, of this keys but rather the value and so i can do it the way i was doing before i can just do k right so let's let that save and then now i rerun it and now this is looking much more like i want it right it's the value two is going up to three and let's see the next one three is going up to six and five is going up to uh what we said five goes up to nine and uh four goes up to nine and five goes up to um 13. i remember this here so let me take out um that one thing that i put here where we were printing out to make sure that we we're doing the right line so for your to do your stub it's going to be how to fix print out the line number and still fix it the other thing in your to do is going to be to put the number below here so that we see because no our number no longer goes from zero but it could be two or one or whatever so we don't want to use it to guess what the column is being represented so we want to see two at the bottom here and blah 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 so we want to see the numbers printed at the bottom here okay and so um, that's going to be your to do so now it looks like our chart is working correctly and that's it all right so thanks for spending your time with me and um, reviewing this and I wanted to just work through like you know some of the issues you can run into when you you know reuse code when you have an issue how do you you know methodically just try to step back and say okay what am I doing what is it supposed to be doing and then print an out debug statement to help you along to give you a hint of what's going on so this was a review really of using the map but since we've done it before i tried to throw a little um thing in there to show you how we can start debugging things all right take care see you in the next video and remember to work on the stub and solve that exercise just play with it and your to do is to be able to print the name of the the, the number at each um line number as you come down um the maximum value there and then below it in each column um here you're gonna put you know two three four except up to 12 okay and so um, that's your to do the solution is going to be here and of course it's going to be posted if you either want to compare or you simply just want to look at that all right take care see you in the next video thanks for being patient subscribe in and spreading the word um, i appreciate your time sincerely thank you thank you very much see you in the next video bye